Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. So I've been seeing a lot of questions and comments online um, from people asking, you know, you know, can I regrip my clubs in my home? How do I do that and things like that? So I thought I'd make a video today to show you how to go ahead and uh, properly uh, remove a grip from the club and then installing a new one. So here we've actually got an actual gripping station uh, that you can buy from uh, Golf Works. Um, if you want to, if you want to go ahead and uh, and uh, have that in your garage. It's a couple hundred dollars if you want to go ahead and do it. Um, if you don't, and you've already got a vice uh, in your garage, what you can do is you can buy this little attachment that goes into it, and basically what it does is it just provides a little bit of cushioning for the shaft when you have it installed. Because if you try to put um, just a normal shaft, or a shaft in just a normal vice down any sort of cushion, you could possibly damage, damage the shaft. So um, I will leave a link in the description below for all for a link to golf work so you can buy all the gripping gripping stuff uh, if you want to so so basically starting off what we first have to do is obviously uh, remove uh, the grip that's already on there so what you just want to do is use a box cutter and then you want to make sure that you have a blade that has a little bit of a hook on it and that's just going to help us get underneath the grip to start it so so you just go to the bottom half of the grip here and you just want to slow basically just hook it and then slice it all the way up just like that. And then if you're using it on graphite shafts, you want to be a little bit careful with it um, because if you get too too far underneath it, you could actually scratch up on um, the shaft with steel. It's not it's not as big of a deal. Um, so like I said, definitely on graphite, you want to be a little bit careful. So sometimes if you're taking off a grip. Um, there will still be some tape left on it. So what you want to do in that instance is you just want to use a lighter to basically then heat up the tape and it'll make it easier to cut, um, come off. Then what you can do is you can use this little, this little tool here and basically what this is going to do is if you got any tape on it, you'll just put on the shaft and basically, basically just, you know, peel it off like that and then that way it makes it easier uh, for you to be able to get um, the rest of the tape off. So. Once you've done all that, now, now we want to get ready to install our grip. So all you'll do is take your grip here, come up here. So I've got so you want to make sure you use double-sided tape for this. So you're basically just gonna put your grip right there, fold the tape up to where it's just about to where it's pretty much the same length as your grip. And then you just peel it off. Then you want to put it on the shaft, right on top, just like this. And then you want to make sure that you have a little bit of the end here um, coming past where, the, where your shaft ends. And I'll explain that here in just a second. So, so you just kind of want to get it stuck on there. Then you want to peel the cover off of the tape. So basically what I do is, is I fold a little bit up in just a small little corner of it. And then you basically just want to peel it back like that and then, then you just pull pull it off like that then from there you want to wrap you want to make sure you're getting the tape wrapped all the way around trying to keep it as smooth as possible um, some some people will say that you have to get it perfectly smooth or else if there's any sort of like you know bubbles or deformities in it you can feel it when you're gripping the golf club personally I have never experienced this even if, even for people that have, you know, you know, uh, standard or even maybe, you know, undersized grips, they say you can, you can feel it personally. I, when I, you know, if I, if that's happened to me before, I've never even been able to feel it. So that's something you don't really need to worry about, but you definitely want to try to keep it as smooth as possible. So then from there, what you want to do, so that little bit that's extended out from the shaft, what you want to do is you just want to twist it and then just kind of press it in like that. And basically what that's going to do is basically prevent any of the solution from getting down inside our shaft. So after that, now we're ready to put on our grip. So what I actually use is I use odorless mineral spirits. So the reasoning behind why I use these is I've had issues in the past finding a grip solution that, you know, that's consistent. Sometimes I've had ones that have worked really well and others that have like you have to empty the entire bottle onto one grip to get it to go on. So, and so somebody told me about using mineral spirits one time and I started using those and have never, ever had an issue 
issue with them. Of course, now I probably jinxed myself, and it's probably not going to go on uh, real good. So, like I said, like I said, like I said, you can use odorless mineral, mineral spirits. They'll work just as they'll work just as well, and you can just buy those in any local Home Depot, Lowe's, or um, hardware store. So, after that, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take our grip, take our mineral spirits again, and again. You can buy just you know a little bottle like this, just a little cap on it. And basically, what you want to do is you just want to squirt as much of it in there as you can. Get some in there. Then, then you want to cover it. So you want to, so there's a hole on the backside here, and then obviously where the grip goes on. You just want to cover those up. Let the solution, you know, swish it back a couple times. Then onto the grip. You just want to go down as far down the shaft as you can. And typically, what I do is I. I usually squirt a little bit extra on there just to make it easier, make it easier to slide on. So, like that. All right. So now, now we're ready to put on our grip. So one thing I do recommend is I do recommend having a towel for the butt end for the butt end of the grip. So the reason for this is when you put on some of the solution, may squirt out the backside. If you get it on your clothes, it's very hard to get out. So you want to make sure that you got a little bit of a towel here. So in order to get it on. What you want to do is you want to, you basically want to pinch right up by where it's going to go on. And then you'll just slide right on and then just push it, push it just like that. So one thing I do recommend is if you got it, is if it comes with any sort of like, you know, cover like this, just leave it on. When you put it on, it'll stretch it out and it just makes it easier to come off versus trying to pick it off before. So, so once you get it on, as long as you've got the club face fairly square, it's fairly easy to kind of line it up, line it up just like that. So, so after you do that, go ahead and you take it out. And then what I always like to do is I like to basically set the club up, you know, at a square address and see how and see how the grip, the grip looks in my hand. You know, does it look like that the club face is square? If if you maybe not, if you don't uh, fully understand what a square club face looks like, what you can do is you can just find a line. Um, on your ground, if you use it uh, in your garage, basically just square, you know, put the club face so the leading edge is lined up with that, and then see how the grip grip looks in your hand. And if it looks square, uh, you're all good to go. If it doesn't, uh, with the solution, obviously it's still being wet, you can adjust it um, a little bit until it looks good. And then once you have it square, basically all you want to do is just take the butt end, tap it a couple times on the ground to make sure the grip's all the way on there, and then you are all good to go. So, and then, so once you get the grip on, I usually recommend waiting about 12, 12 hours or so um, to let the grip solution dry. And then after that, after that, you should be good to go. So I uh, appreciate you guys uh, checking out the channel um, today. Hopefully for, for those that want to look at, uh, you know, gripping their own clubs at home, hoping this helped and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and if you, if you liked the uh, video today, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks.